Hey what's up it's Ronak Chabra with Editing Corp and in this video I want to share with you a simple trick to create three dimensional effect in Adobe After Effects. This trick is an old one and is pretty much useless nowadays because the latest version of Adobe After Effects can do that with a click of a button. But I still want to share it just for the sake of good old days. When I first started using After Effects, there was no option in the program to convert a text layer into 3D. Though you could toggle on the little convert to 3D button and move the text around in 3D space or change the camera angle, but there was no option to create that extrusion effect or what some people like to call the bevel effect. Then Element 3D by Video Copilot came into existence which enabled us to convert text into 3D but it was still an expensive plugin and not everybody could afford it especially people like me who was new to the program and who was using after effects mostly for fun and personal use so after effect has this effect called the shutter effect that you can apply on to a text layer change a few of its settings and it gives you three dimensional text similar to what you get with the element 3d plugin so right now i am in adobe after effects cs 5.5 and here i have my composition in place with a text layer that says let's create 3d text so firstly we will go into create a new solid layer so we will go into layer new and create a new solid layer we will make it comp size hit ok and now to this solid layer we will apply our shutter effect to do that go into effect and then simulation and shatter now in the shatter effect properties we will change the view from wireframe plus forces to rendered and under shape we will change the pattern from bricks to custom and now in custom shatter map we will select our text layer after selecting our text layer, we will simply hide our text layer by clicking on the I button. Right now if we move the playhead, you can see this shatter animation going on and since we don't want this, we can disable it by going into force 1 and decrease the strength value from 5 all the way down to 0 and go into physics and decrease the gravity value to 0 as well. Now you can use the extrusion depth value to increase or decrease the bevel. If you want to change the color of the 3D text, simply select the solid layer and then go into layer solid setting and change the solid color to anything. Now that we have our 3D text in place, we can go ahead and create a new camera layer to move around or pan around the 3D text. So to do that, go into layer new and select camera, hit OK and then go back to the solid layer and under texture you'll find this camera system, just change the camera system from camera position to com camera. And now you can select the orbit tool or any camera tool to move it around in 3D space. You can also set position keyframes to create cool looking animations. Again, this is an old trick that doesn't add much value to your workflow but my main purpose to create this video and share this trick is to remind you that there are many different ways to create something in After Effects even if the feature is not yet available. You don't have to depend on Adobe for everything. Just keep experimenting with the software and most of all have fun. And that's all for now. If you liked what you saw, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button to stay up to date with our latest videos. And I'll see you in the next one.